While the residential part of Cherbourg suffered little in the battle for the city, extensive damage by demolition was affected by the Germans on the port and harbour installations. The one-time lovely Gar Maritime, where the Normandy and Queen Mary used to dock, is now a shambles. Vessels in the harbour have been sunk to act as block ships in a hurried attempt to prevent free access to the Allies. Through the cathedral-like arches has crashed the clock tower. This is a sample of the tangle of destruction which faces the naval salvage squads and repair parties already across the channel restoring the harbour facilities. The statue of Napoleon points to the breakwater enclosing the outer harbour whereon Germans are offering the last resistance. American artillery drops shells on the forts. The Nazis there are in a hopeless position because their guns cannot be trained on the city. They only command the sea approach to the harbour. The outer forts east and west surrendered just one minute before P-47 dive bombers came over and struck at the central fort on the breakwater. Air Force marauders go for the tip of the peninsula where the belligerent remnants of von Schlieben's army are fighting to the point of liquidation. Gun emplacements are bombed and the ways out are sealed. Slap in the center of a spider's web of communicating roads. The bombing mission carries the marauders over the Cape de la Hague. The last pockets of suicidal resistance are put out of action. Most attempts to escape to the Channel Islands are frustrated. There's a fleeting glimpse of Alderney down below, a patch of British soil in enemy hands. Eighth Air Force fighters inflict widespread damage during sorties over France. Combat pictures turned in by Mustangs, Thunderbolts and Lightnings show the aircraft riding roughshod over German aerodromes and lines of communication. The reluctance of the Luftwaffe to come up in strength makes it a field day for the American pilots. They shoot up every enemy target they see in their gun sights. Highways to Rommel's forces in the front line are under almost constant Allied attack from the air. Many become jammed with wrecked and burning vehicles. His roads have ever been long and perilous. <laughs> <laughs> 